that takes a lot of mental and emotional energy. How have you developed that mental, emotional energy? Because I think that's something you'll hear other leadership people, you can start going down the rabbit hole of you got to have EQ as well as IQ and, and all these other things. But I view that as that's a capacity that I, I don't know that leaders are growing for themselves. How have you cultivated it to sort of maintain that stamina? Um, you know, I don't know. I, the, the only thing I could say is this reminds me of a story that my mother told me once is she was a uh, single mom of five kids. And uh, mm. I, I have three of my own. And one day I was my wife and I were exhausted and I uh, looked at her and said, I said, mom, uh, how did you do it? How did you raise five kids on your own? And she looks at me, she says, baby, I didn't have a choice. And I feel like that whenever you commit down the road that you, it's not really a choice. It's just something you figure out how to do. It takes prioritizing that, that the people in our, our company do matter to me and that our customers do matter to us, to me personally, but us as an organization, as a company. But yes, it is. It, you can get burnout. I mean, frankly, if I was to be honest with you right now, I'm tired. <laughs> we put <laughs> even even though I just came off of a, a five day vacation. There's we've got a leadership meeting at seven o'clock in the morning for uh, you know we opened up for volunteer anybody wanted to work on personal leadership development, and so I'll be working on that this afternoon, and I'll be up here at probably six forty five in the morning getting ready for our the team that volunteered to come in, and and we'll be coaching them in the morning. But yeah, it does take, it takes an extraordinary amount of, of energy. And the only thing I can say is maybe it's similar to the way a pastor would prepare. They genuinely care about what they're doing and, and they, they, they want to make sure that they, mm. that the people that are receiving are receiving what to them, what would be authentically God's word being teached or taught to them. But for me, it's that I'm, we're continually focused on, focusing on what is going to grow that individual for whatever time God has them here. I don't know how, and I tell everybody who comes in the door, I don't know how long the Lord's going to have you here, but I do know our goal is that you are better off when you leave than when you got here. And yeah. that's financially, spiritually, professionally, that you're mm -hmm. a better in a better position to do life when you leave. We hire for the long haul, but life happens. But it's that focus in mind that I don't know how the Lord's going to use that person. And I may not have, but just a small window of opportunity to pour into them. And can I be excellent in pouring into that person for the time that they're here?